Hey, what's up, guys? How are you today? Welcome to my vlog. It's just, it's just a vlog today. No drone today. It's kind of windy and it looks like it's my rain. It says it's not gonna rain, but you know, I just went out for a ride. My heated grips are working because I took the wrong gloves. Yes, anyway. I'm in front of a guy that's going 40 and 50. Uh, nice, now it's 30 though. So I suppose that's fine. Okay, you're turning somewhere. Uh, I have no idea where. I have no idea where I'm going, to be honest. Like he's turning somewhere over there. I have no idea what that place is. Uh, so yeah, today I'm just gonna run about some stuff, tell you a story and some updates on my bike while I'm going somewhere unknown. I have no idea where I'm going. Never been here. Still see a London buses though. Oh, there's a camera at 30 miles an hour in it. Kill your speed. Okay. Uh, there's no camera on this side though. So good luck taking a picture of me in front. <laughs> I don't have registration plate. Uh, so yeah, first of all, some updates. Oh, 50 miles an hour again. So I'll do some updates. Uh, I did work on my bike, uh, so I changed the air filter. So I'll show you the picture because I only have like a, a two pictures, something uh, of of stuff I changed. I didn't take the pictures in between kind of thing. I wasn't bothered. So I uh, I changed my uh, what's it called the air filter and I changed my coolant. <clears throat> so the air filter is obviously underneath here, underneath the tank. Um, it's very simple. I cleaned up everything over there. Changed the air filter. You saw in the picture probably. And I changed my coolant. You can see in the coolant, um, in the coolant you will see probably on the picture is some stuff floating kind of thing. And that's because I also cleaned my reservoir for the coolant. So you have a reservoir and uh, you should change that every two years as well. But because there's some crap inside, I flushed it as well. So usually I just flush my system with uh, distilled kind of not distilled water the ionized water like the water used for ironing or for uh, topping up batteries for car batteries and like bike batteries so that's that's the thing i used in order to kind of flush the system right so once you remove the coolant basically and the this the bolt for this coolant you have like a, a sample kind of thing for the coolant not for the oil so you remove that, the, literally the liquid gushes out, so catch it. <laughs> and then, you know, you, you put that back in and simply put that water in, the ionized water, I think it's called. You put that in and then uh, literally just run your engine for a while, uh, rev it a few times, make it, you know, flush your system and then just remove that again and put the proper coolant in. So I have ready mix already, kind of, you know, it's, it's yellow kind of-ish. A kind of Mountain Dew color, if you know what Mountain Dew looks like. It's a kind of, you know, high vis color kind of thing. And, uh, well, that's nice views. Uh, I will be going back this way as well because I have no idea where I'm going. So I'll be coming back this way so you'll see the views better, I suppose. And, you know, topped it up to appropriate amount. I will probably have to top it up again. I will check after, you know, riding around because that's why I'm riding around just to have a look, you know, how much coolant I need to add. And then I flash my uh, reservoir, which is underneath the tank, in the guts over there. So it's not very easy to take it off or anything. It, it would be the best idea to take it off. I'm gonna just go around this roundabout, I think. Just, uh, yeah, and then come back. Yeah, I think that's the best idea because up north it's gonna rain. So I'm just gonna fucking turn around. Because that's also another thing. I'm not gonna go to a... Um, there's cock fosses over there, but I'm not gonna go to M25. I think there's M25. Oh, yeah, there it is. Somewhere over here. There you go. But now I'm gonna just literally turn around and go the same way. It's cold today, man. M25. Potter's Bar is that way. I've been there already. So it's like I'm next to Potter's Bar, basically. It's nice bushes there. And I think. Is the next one. It's this one. That's the one I'm going. Yeah. I think it's this one. 105. I'm thinking because I, I'm not sure. If I 
coming in a bit hot but so yeah I changed my coolant uh, so done that and the air filter that's pretty much what I've done I've, I also painted one of my walls in the house uh, it had to be kind of repainted again so did that kind of thing don't have any pictures it doesn't matter to be honest yeah we're gonna go slow with that guy in front in it again so nice views over there there I promise to show you I can stand up on my bike but I think if I just do this you can actually see it's not bad views it's like like that do have to focus on my road a bit as well um, so yeah, that's the update. Uh, like I said, I don't have many pictures and it's more of a, a, a story vlog this time. I'm just gonna tell you a story about my insurance again <laughs> because it's funny. Uh, so at least I think it's funny. So basically, you know, uh, you know MC. I'm pretty sure you do, but they don't exist anymore kind of thing. You cannot get a policy through them as in through the insurance or the broker anymore. So there used to be two MCs. And in the past, I used to have MCE insurance all the time because it was the cheapest. And so, you know, that, that, that was the quotes that I got. And I basically chose the cheapest, excuse me, cheapest quotes available. Because why would I pay £150, for example, more for the same kind of insurance? Like, it's pointless just not to be with that company. So anyway, yeah. So the first MCE busted. The actual insurance company busted. And, but the broker was left. And the broker uh, did insurance through Sabre Insurance. So, yeah, that's how I got my insurance as well, like last year on this bike. And, you know, I got my insurance and everything. Everything's fine. Sabre Insurance still exists. It, it didn't go bankrupt, but the other broker MC uh, went to administration as well. So, uh, completely, you cannot get any quotes from them anymore. You know, you have to find different company, the cheapest one, basically. At least I had to. So yeah, um, but the thing is, say I was flying, right, to visit my grandma. And literally, and, and I'm not joking right now, literally the moment I land, I turn on my internet, email comes into my e-box. So I get an email, straight thing, first thing I land, I get an e email. Your policy lapsed, your policy expired. Basically, today, your policy expired for this bike. Now, obviously, I have a policy now, but, dude, I'm literally, they didn't notify me like a month before or anything because they didn't pay attention to it. Usually, I'm on top of that kind of crap, but I thought, you know, I have like another month because they didn't notify me about it. So, I thought, yeah, I'm still all right, right? Nope. No, my, literally, my policy lapsed without them notifying me or anything. Obviously, auto renewal wasn't set up or anything because they, it couldn't be anyway. But they didn't even notify me that my policy is ending. And, uh, you know, it's like, what do you want me to do with that information at this stage? Like, I'm, I'm literally not home. <laughs> you know, what do you want me to do? I don't have a computer with me. And uh, yes, you can do it on your mobile phone. But it's like filling out everything on the mobile phone. It's like, I'm not bothered. I, I can do it uh, 10 times faster than the computer. So I thought, yeah, fuck it. You know, it's like, I'm going to return and I'm going to do it. Uh, but yeah, it's like first time in my life that happened to me, like an insurance company literally just did not notify you or me in this case about your insurance ending and just literally just wrote to you, yeah, your insurance is finished today. Good luck. That kind of thing, man. It's like, what the fuck, man? Seriously, what the fuck? So yeah, I had to uh, just when I came back from my grandma is I had to literally deal with that and uh, and get a new insurance and you obviously you know get new quotes and everything because the MC doesn't exist and they usually gave me the cheapest ones so I kind of went around uh, went directly went uh, through the comparison websites and found a quote that I was uh, sort of happy with but I see how to quit but I have all the stuff included kind of you know breakdown cover leather helmet insurance personal insurance whatever all that crap you know uh, riding other bikes obviously i can ride other bikes uh, but this time i removed the fucking commuting because i do not commute with this bike 
and it, there is not a lot of difference it's not like a huge difference when it comes to money which is weird to me because when you commute to work like you have higher kind of probability of having crush because it's in rush hours most of the time but it's not that much more expensive it was like 30 maybe pounds more expensive for the whole year just what 30 pounds for commuting and not commuting i said ah oh, fuck it i'm not using this bike for commuting anyway so what's the point so i'm not gonna pay even that 30 quid more just to you know i can have a better cover for my breakdown for example instead of paying that right when i'm not gonna use this bike for work so there's no point so i you know didn't do the commuting part so it's only social domestic and pleasure now but yeah uh, it's all right i'm not complaining it's like it's a different company i have my no claim discount i'm turning over here That's a, that's a that's a very sharp uh, roundabout right there. So I have to brake on the roundabout. Obviously using my back brake. So yeah, that's that's the thing I was talking about in my previous video, and I cut it short because it, literally the video would be like 40 minutes long, and I was like, nah, I'm just gonna cut it short, and then I'm gonna next week I'm gonna give you some updates because I knew I'm gonna work on my bike. This is actually. 60 miles an hour road and I can go that there's nothing in front of me let's go yeah you probably cannot hear me because of wind noise this camera takes wind noise differently than my other camera XL XL takes wind noise worse I think but we'll see about that I will do post editing anyway I need to babysit this camera a bit since I need to do post editing much more than on the other one. But I suppose, you know, you get better quality as well. And I also noticed that my drone is not uh, 60 FPS, it's fed. That's why on the previous video you don't have actually quality 60 FPS, you have just normal 30 FPS. Even though my camera records in 60 right now. And in previous you know, video it was recording in 60. But like I said, YouTube does not recognize. Um, YouTube doesn't recognize that there is ver variable speed, uh, not limit, speed uh, of the frames, frames uh, speed, kind of. It does not recognize that and we just default to whatever. So that's what, that was my thinking on the, what was it called, uh, on the 100 FPS, it would probably default it to like 60 or something. Because, you know, it, it just doesn't recognize 100, for example, 90 or something like that. But yeah, anyway, um, yeah, that's my, that's my kind of story, you know, it's like uh, I showed you some different roads this time, not Epping Forest. You do it like 60 miles an hour, a little. <laughs> Come on, I want you to overtake you. Come on, dude, 60. Yeah, that's why I didn't overtake. Don't do that on bends. Now I can overtake. And I didn't even break the speed limit, mate. That's what I'm saying, mate. 60 miles an hour. I want to enjoy it a bit. I know I'm gonna break. Don't get me wrong. Nice, 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 nice. Change them gears. I can do this one and then do this in it. Yep. Yes, you can go after this guy. Good. My heated grids are working because it's got I choose the wrong uh, gloves today. <laughs> I didn't realize it's gonna be that cold man. But the heated grips are working properly. Yeah they're heating up very nicely at 70%. Again it's 40 miles an hour guys. Another thing is, uh, on my way here, I was on A406 and I'm probably gonna be there again. And they changed the whole section that used to be 50 to 40. I knew they're gonna change it. I said that they will change it, Mike, my words. And they did change it to 40 miles an hour, man. What a bullshit production for your fucking country, man. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. Say, like, oh my God, uh, it's changing everything to 
lower speed limits. Like people cannot drive. That's not the speed limit. It's not the problem. Is the problem is the fucking people, mate. Let me tell you that much. The people who cannot fucking drive, you let them go on the road with no fucking skills. Because in my view, if I go 40 or 50, I can still break in time for everything. Why? Because I can fucking position myself, I can distance myself, I can be safe. But these motherfuckers, they're going 50 or 60 miles an hour, they're racing and stuff like that. They cannot drive, they think they can drive, but fucking cannot drive for shit. Maybe in straight line, but any bend, then it's like fucking... That's it. <laughs> Good luck. So, you get this type of bullshit, you know? And it's like, they're gonna... Uh, I will let you go, but it's like fucking... Alright, whatever. Uh, say, uh, and then you get those slower speed limits because idiots cannot drive and then they still cannot drive that 40 miles an hour. That, that used to be a 50 miles an hour road and people cannot drive even 40 on it. That's what's the problem. It's not like the speed is the problem. Because I can easily go 70 miles an hour on that road and it's not a problem on that road. It's good enough for that. Can I let him go? Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. I want to go through. That's, that's it. I like that. I want to go in front of the truck. Underground. What the fuck is that? Cockfoss. There. So it's the last station of Piccadilly right there. Okay. I see. I see. It's Cockfosses. I didn't even notice that. Like seriously, I know. I know. I'm passing like Southgate. Literally over there is Southgate. Then like never kind of uh, went into through my mind that there's another station which is called Foster's over there <laughs> forgot about it completely that's how often I use fucking Piccadilly line I can change the third gear I suppose so yeah that's that's my I'll make that through it's not point breaking too sharply uh, so that's a bit of my rant you know about insurance yeah I'm, I'm done through like pretty much through with with MCE the company doesn't exist I cannot get quotes from them so I have to, I have to find a you know the cheaper company but a different company that will provide me with insurance and like I say you know it's like uh, I have my I, I wrote to them for my no claim discount they they send it to me so that's fine you know it's like no problem I can make that and uh, yeah you're breaking too much mate that that Previous was interesting. Come on, dude. So yeah, it's like I'm through the, with them. Like never, never gonna happen again, probably. So I'm just gonna use different companies, I suppose. I wonder what's gonna happen next year. What type of prices they're gonna give me? But yeah. That's, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I don't want to bore you because I don't have any other topic and like I said I didn't take my drone today. It's kind of windy, it's kind of cold, it might be raining up north because that's up north. Um more central is not gonna rain apparently today and stuff like that, but you know up north might be different. From why I check the clouds and the kind of rainfall. So that's why you know I just went around for a ride and just to make sure the coolant is kind of you know settled kind of thing. So how they ride properly, kind of open it up a bit, speed up. Make sure you know the cooling goes into every nook and cranny. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And um, I'll see you in my next week. Uh, obviously, there is going to be a trip. And I think it's going to be next month, the beginning of next month. I'm going to go on a trip. Not this month, because it's going to be a lot of rains apparently up north. And I don't want that. So I'm going to take my chances at the beginning of next month, really gonna take my chances then and obviously if it rains and I book everything well then I'm fucked in it but I'll have to go but at least you know I will delay it that a week or whatever or two and uh, and go a bit later maybe the weather is gonna be good so my gut feeling tells me not to go this this month basically and usually when I'm going on holidays a nice weather so I'm thinking like if I choose beginning of next month is gonna be nice weather I hope <laughs> so yeah that's when I'm gonna to go to Cumbria which is uh, you know Lake District I'm gonna visit Lake District obviously maybe I'll visit Peak District uh, and I'm surely I should because it's just next to the 
Scotland, Scottish border, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to Scotland. I just don't know where I'm gonna go in Scotland, but I'm gonna go to Scotland for sure. What's your problem, mate? Just go. Yeah, you cannot drive, mate. You seriously, dude. They didn't even pass you properly. That's unusual. You're already turning. It's like you have time. Yeah, I have to overtake this motherfucker. He's gonna be the pain in my ass, isn't it? Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you enjoyed that little rant and some updates. And I will see you in my next vlog video, whatever it's gonna be. Blast out! <laughs>